welcome to Squid Gaming. Now, a few weeks ago, I had the pleasure of going to the Eurogamer Expo in London, which is essentially a massive convention full of new consoles, unreleased games, overpriced food, and it's crammed full of sweaty men and women. That's right, it's the sexiest event of the year, and these were my favourite moments. Now I got to play far less than I wanted to, mainly because I'm terrible at committing to queues and apparently screaming you don't know who I am doesn't get you far because nobody knows who I am. Word on the street though is that Titanfall is the one to look out for. The FPS from Respawn Entertainment is all about completing team based challenges with your titans on a war torn derelict planet and promises to be the next step for SPSs. Something I did get a go on was Elder Scrolls Online. Now it's difficult to get a really good feel for an MMO when you only have a 10 minute slot to play it, but it looks beautiful and I really hope that they bring over the magic and character from Skyrim into an even bigger scale. I also got a go on the PS4 which was super exciting. The controller feels great and it feels like a real improvement from the PS3. Now there was a dance game but I refused to play it because I would never dance for people. Again. I would never dance for people again. I will never live that down. Now I got this small footage of a zombie. You may be able to hear what sounds like a terrified girly scream, but what you can't see is after I finished recording, I totally did a walking dab on him and cut his mother head off. They, uh, they, uh, they asked me to leave and I wasn't allowed back in. I'm in a lot of trouble. I also got to look around some of the app games, like New Star Soccer. Now, I'm not usually a fan of football. Kick a ball! Score a goal! Win some points! But New Star Soccer was still fun for me, but that's probably because you have a girlfriend and that's always my favourite bit in games. I played Harvest Moon over and over again just to get the different wives. What can I say? I'm a womanizer. I also got to go on the Final Fantasy X HD remastering. Now it looks very pretty, but considering Final Fantasy X didn't look that bad when it came out in the first place, it's not a huge difference. Now what I'd really like to see is a HD remastering of Final Fantasy 7, 8 and 9. But saying that, I'll still be buying 10 when it comes out. The retro section is always fun because I get to play bomb around with total strangers and get really angry if they beat me and start cussing on their mothers. Sorry ladies! I got to go on Mario 3D Land for the Wii U with two friends co-op which was really fun. Plus they've now got Princess Peach so you can satisfy the inner princess within. In the DS section I got to go on Retro City Rampage which is basically GTA 1. It's a bird's eye view pixelated destroyorama. Assassin's Creed Black Flag was fun and although the pirate boat thing was interesting I jumped on the PC version because there were no lines and considering I'm not a PC gamer I spent most of the time going Ha! Where is the button? And not getting very far at all, so I can't really give it a valid review. Now I wanted to play Pokemon X and Y, but the queue was ridiculous, and considering it's only three bloody weeks until release day, I instead went to the Street Pass zone, collapsed on a beanbag, and played Street Pass Quest with person after person after person after person after person after person. You get what I mean, person. Now some expo tips. Bring food because it's expensive. Bring anti back or you will get sick. Bring your DS because you will get hundreds of street passes. And don't scare me if you're dressed up as a zombie because I will behead you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you next time. Take care, play lots and have fun. Go on you reds and blues. Come on my son. Offside rule. The referee is ill informed. That man's got a nice left foot kick. Way, 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 and that's